All right, everyone, we have Esteban and his solid axle swap Toyota. Here we have the Chevy 63 Springs for it. Um, we're running into a problem. Well, no, not really a problem. It's just part of the process. Uh, <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is we need to unbolt. Yeah, you're right. We need to unbolt the bumper right there and the hitch because it's in the way. So let's get to it. So uh, we've unbolted the hitch and the bumper. Uh, now we're gonna sweep up under here, get all these leaves and stuff out the way. Um, we're gonna put on some jack stands and then, um, yeah, start measuring up where we're gonna put all our components. So yeah. All right guys, so um, pretty much setting up everything here. We uh, swept up the dirty floor. I uh, got our measurements, so what we're doing is on the front hanger, since this is a third gen Toyota pickup, we're doing nine and a half inches forward is for the front hanger, and then four inches back. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty tra straightforward. Exactly. So, yeah. um, we're just waiting on his brother to bring us some safety glasses, because that's important, knowing my luck, the freaking disc will blow up and hit my eye so definitely need safety glasses and um yeah that should do it so let's get all right guys we're gonna get this flapper wheel here and we're gonna clean up and get some nice fresh metal hey guys so um there it is all cleaned up got some nice clean metal now we need to grind the bracket. Right, guys, now that we have it cleaned up, this bracket's eyelet to this one right here, going this way, we're going nine and a half inches forward. So. it is um we're gonna tack it in just to make sure it's where we actually want it but yeah we went nine and a half inches forward from there then i just got the center of this the center of the frame rail and just fucking marked it all up and measured it a bunch of times but we're still gonna just tack it in um that way uh we make sure it's exactly where we want it also so, yeah Remember, disconnect the battery before welding, just in case. You don't want to mess up your computer or whatever. Yeah, that's happening. Yep. All right, let's tap. Right, guys, so here at Esteban, we got him gunning off the... Uh... We're going to put right. this here. Four inches back from our eye right there, but we need to cut this off. Here, do you need help? Guys, here's the 63 spring. Uh, we still haven't burned it in. It's just kind of all mocked up. Uh, we're definitely pretty happy with how it turned out. There we are. It's looking pretty good. But, um, yeah, we need to go. All get right, some guys. Stuff. So, um, right now we're uh, test fitting everything. Um, it's all looking very good. Um, and we're going to pull it off and then burn everything in and spray paint it. It should be good to go. What do you think? Yes, sir. I'm excited. Hell yeah. So let's just put this here on a little. There it is. Looks pretty good. So I'm locked up. Hell yeah. Now we just need to take it apart so we don't burn the bushings up, burn uh, or weld in everything completely, paint it, and it should be good to go. Hell yeah.